Welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for coming back. So today I'm going to read some bok choy. Here's some bok choy. I bought it at Walmart. It was about two, I want to say two forty, two dollars and forty-eight cents. So here it is. I'm going to cook some of it and the root is what we'll be cutting. So here's the root bring it closer so I'll be cutting off the bottom part of the root and then I'll stick it in water and then we'll wait for a few days and see what happens so first let's start by cutting there it is you see I'm separating this is the part that I'm going to cook with and this is the part that we are going to root so I'm setting this other part aside and then look at this is what we are going to be rooting that's the top part of it this is the bottom part of it so this is the container I'm using it's a, a bowl and it has some water in it so um, you can decide to use uh, a rooting hormone and this is take root this is the rooting hormone I usually use but today I opt not to use it uh, for this so mine is ready it's it's just so pretty on the out on the inside um, I'm going to go ahead and stick it in this bowl and that's that so once I've stuck it in the bowl I'll wait a couple of days and see if it has taken root so here it is in the bowl well now let's take a look at the bok choy I want you to pay attention to the rooting and remember it's been two weeks and it was rooted in water so here it is see there's no smell to it uh, I did change the water frequently but uh, if you look at the bottom there's some discoloration and that means it's really time for me to take it out of water and put it in soil so once again beautiful beautiful uh, so I'm in my garden right now and for placement of my bok choy, I'm choosing this location right here. Uh, it's right next to the Swiss chard. And I think you can also see some kale at the back. And there's some radish right around here. There's a lot of radish around here that's just emerging. So I'll add some bok choy right here and let's see how it goes. Come on. So what I'm doing right now is putting the bok choy on the ground. I'm in the garden and I'm about to add some soil on it and that would be it for the bok choy and all that would be left is for us to just watch it grow. Okay.
it's been about uh, six days since I planted the bok choy and uh, I'm in my garden right now I wanted you to see how it looks six days after planting so let's go look at it you see it isn't it beautiful so beautiful so so beautiful so that's the bok choy it looks strong it was a store-bought bok choy I rooted it and planted it and now it is growing quite healthy so I will give you an update later on how it turns out thank you and have a lovely day and while I'm in the garden I wanted to give you a quick tour of the garden this is the second week of December and I just want us to look at the plants and see how the vegetables are doing join me please so we will start with the garden we'll start at the bottom of the garden where we have some mustard greens that are right here and we have some collard greens and we also have some onions once again this is the second week of december uh, i already showed you the mustard greens and the collard greens and the onions at the very bottom and now we come to the second part where we have more collard greens we have some onions right here and we also have some snow peas that have started to emerge look at the snow peas they're so beautiful so the next section also is collard greens same as this section above it and if we go across more collard greens I think that's the theme collard greens collard greens collard greens and then you see some Swiss chard and if we turn around again we see more collard greens And I know this looks like Swiss chard, but it's not. It's beetroot. So this is beetroot right here. And of course the collard greens right here. And this is the cover plants that I'd added earlier on before the season started. And we come to this section here and we see some Swiss chard, some more Swiss chard, some more collard greens, and right here, the name has escaped me. <laughs> My brain is running. I'm trying to remember what this is. Rosemary. Yeah, how can I forget rosemary? So that's rosemary right there. And uh, this is lettuce right here. And we slide across to the other side again. And we have this mustard greens. And next to the mustard greens, we have kale. And of course, collard greens right next to them. And one huge 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 <laughs> mustard green and uh, there's a lot of radish growing that i planted maybe a week ago and here's one of them right here and right next to it is the bok choy that i just planted so we have plenty of food not to worry and thank you